past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. And most are going to pick up a Dolphins first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. Hey, come on, two. Come on, two. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 41, here's a second and eight. They'll run right side with Mostert. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 59 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. It's not often you talk about statement drives coming right at the start of the game, but that was some statement there. That drive took them the length of the field, and as I look at the clock, ate up nearly the entire first quarter as well. Great work up front, clearing space, and an ideal finish of the touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 24. Now ETN to start the drive. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. Lawrence going to move him around a bit. From the 30 on second down, Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. The Jags with the football to begin the second. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. Open man, this is Brenton Strange, the tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. 
down Jacksonville. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. Hey, kill, 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 kill. ETN once more. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Doug Peterson going to roll the dice here. They will go for it on fourth down. and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. So Lawrence will exit, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Jaguar field goal. The kick by McManus is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive lineup points. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Here comes third down at seven. Looking to pass to a short throw hauled in by Croft. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. And no sign of Tua departing. Fourth down. They're going for it. That is caught. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, it's Mostert. Photo run show Fadukasi there on the tackle. Here's a second and five. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Play action. Now it's Tua getting this out to the flat. Mostert. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up third and two. It's a game of three. They'll try and run here with Mostert. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So from the 25, this is second and five. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Open net is Waddle complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 14. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half.
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The kick by Sanders is good. And that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition does have a focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now Lawrence to throw. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. And they'll try and throw forward with Lawrence. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. And coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now a give to Mostert running right. And he's able to get this inside the 10 down to the 9. 104 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. In order to play a really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers. There's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those mastodons, they've been sensational clearing the holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 17-3. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown, so now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he gets this up past the 30. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores. But the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw taken in by Ridley here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 
straight ahead, ETN. And he's got some space here. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. They go play action with Lawrence. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. In motion right is Ridley. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Of scrimmage the 15 it's first and 10 here's Lawrence to throw forced out to his left nothing open downfield he keeps it himself for 11 and a first down and quickly they get to the line and they'll run with ETN and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage it's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. Now Lawrence. That's to the pylon and incomplete. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Calvin Ridley from eight yards out. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. McManus's point after is good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Barrios now from his end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40 yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're holding Let's on go. right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that kicks first downs and keeps the ball away from the opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs. Keep hey, possession on, of the football. On, on third down, here comes Mostert. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shortened the line to gain. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, ETN once more. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. 
If they're gonna get a first down out of this, they're gonna have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared, brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. A big play here as the crowd noise rises. Third and one. Lawrence on the sneak. Uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Who wants it more? This is fourth and a yard. They run for it with Bigsby. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they wind up going backwards. They had to go through with such little time remaining. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Good gain there on first down. and keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And most are going to pick up a Dolphins first down as he'll get this down to the 47-yard line. Again, they'll run it with Moster. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a 